Hi, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer, DJ, and instructor at DubSpot here in New York City. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to make dubstep style wobble bass using the ES2 synthesizer in Logic. One of the goals of this video is to introduce you to the modulation matrix, which allows you to set up complex synth sounds using the LFOs, envelopes, and so on, and assigning them to different parameters. So we're going to be using this to create a wobble bass, but obviously this can be used to create all types of sounds. The wobble is a popular sound within dubstep, but I encourage you to go further with this and use this to create your own original sounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a new software instrument track and we're going to add an ES2. Now we're going to start with the tutorial setting analog saw in it. So that's going to be tutorial settings analog saw in it here. The reason we're using this is because it's a simple sound to start with. I'm going to take this saw wave and I'm going to dial it around to about here. So what this is, is this is going to be a sine wave with some frequency modulation. If we listen, initially it sounds like this. We're going to want to go lower. So I'm going to take the pitch of this oscillator and pull it down to negative 24. So now we've got a nice thick bass sound. Uh, and so what we're going to do now is we're going to dirty it up using some frequency modulation. So I'm going to turn on this second oscillator and I'm going to go down here to where it says sine and I'm going to choose the glass three setting. These are wavetable oscillators that come in logic and they're useful for creating some different textures. So now pretty harsh, um, but we've got our kind of dirty texture to start with. So what we're going to do now is we're going to assign some modulation to it to set up the wobble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the source over here in this first modulation slot and I'm going to set it to LFO two. The reason I use LFO2, which is here, is because it's tempo syncable. So I'm going to then go down and set this to eighth notes, which are going to now be synced to my beat. I'm going to change the target, what this is going to be controlling, to cut off one and two. So now, if I play a note, we've got our wobble going. So I'm going to now close this synth for a second, and I'm just going to grab, this is the baseline MIDI data uh, that you heard in the track. Not going to copy the automation data, and I'm just going to solo that for a second. So there's our kind of starting point. The next thing we want to do is create the other part of the line, which I'm doing with a separate synth on another channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go new track with duplicate setting up here. Click that to make a, a exact copy of this synth. Then I'm going to drag down my second piece of MIDI data. Don't copy the automation. And now let's just listen quickly. So they're just alternating quarter notes on a couple different pitches. So in order to create a little more variety, I'm going to open up my second synth, the copy that I just created, and I'm going to go down here to where it says 1-8, and I'm going to change that to eighth note triplets to give it a different rhythmic feel. So now we've got... So we've got a little rhythmic variation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change also the waveform of the oscillator to give it a little different texture. I'll pull down the cutoff a bit. So by taking my bass line and sending some of the notes to one synth on one channel and some of the notes to one synth on another channel, I can have the textures of the two synth sounds be different. I could mix them a little differently, add some different effects and create some interesting textural variations. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to look at some of the modulations that I was doing, some of the changes. So the first thing I did was I just made a copy of the first line and just transpose it down an octave. So actually the first one is actually transposed up, so plus 12, so that's gonna sound like this. So give us another little variation that we're gonna do after the first eight bars. So that's the end of part one. In this video, we looked at how to set up the basic wobble sound 
In part two, we're going to see how to set up some advanced modulation. So to modulate things like the pitch, how to use the envelope as well as the LFO, how to automate some of these parameters and give your sound some dynamism and some variation. And if you'd like to learn more about DubSpot, our school in New York City, uh, you can check out dubspot.com. For more about me, Matt Shade Tech, you can check me out on Twitter, twitter.com Matt Shade Tech, or you can go to the website for my crew and label, Duddy Arts, which is duddyarts.com. If you'd like to get a copy of the project file that I've been working on here, the Logic project file with the sounds in it, uh, you can sign up for the DubSpot mailing list at the link below, and we'll email that a link to that to you. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope this was helpful.